Time to play with some clay. Side to see if I can see it, find a branch, and I'll tell you why. I'm thinking about doing a statue of uh, Jesus Christ, and he's got a staff, and I'm going to try to find something that I could use as a staff like a uh, limb or something like that. That looks pretty good. I'll have to come back out with uh, a uh, saw or something to cut that with, so. This is behind my studio here, or my house. That's a good stick right there. I want to get something that's not exactly perfect in shape, too. Something I can put clay on. If I decide to put clay on it. It's beautiful out here today. It's warm. Hmm. Well, that's what I'm doing right now, and I'll come back when I get something. Well, let me give you a background on this uh, idea that I'm formulating for this uh, sculpture of uh, our Savior. Now, I know not everybody believes in uh, Jesus and the Bible. I'm doing this for people who do believe in it, and... Uh, I watched a couple of movies the other night on uh, and one of them was on John John the Baptist and and Jesus and uh, I got it in my head the other night to think about doing something like that especially with all the Christmas and Easter coming up and all that other stuff coming up in the near future and and I just got to thinking I'd like to do something like that. Well, I went to bed, and about two o'clock in the morning, I, uh, I I woke up, and it was after I had thought about what I would do, and I was seeing it in my mind of uh, Christ standing with uh, the sun behind him. Of course, you can't do that in a sculpture, and uh, he's got a staff that he uses to walk with over his shoulder and he's got his arms resting on the staff on his shoulders well that's what got me started that moment of inspiration that morning and then today after I came in from cutting the uh, stick for the uh, staff, um, I, I felt the words of, in my head, I am the way. And uh, it's from John, oh, what is it, John 6, 14, chapter 6, I think. Uh, I got right here. Yeah, John 14, 6. And, uh, let me play you uh, that sound bit. Uh, I took it off the computer, so it's going to have a weird sound to it, but it reads off what I want you to hear. John 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. 
You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him, and have seen him. So, that's what I'm thinking, and that's the thing that's moving me to do this. And uh, I posted my idea on Facebook, and it's surprising how many people want me to do this. And I thought about it, and I, I my trouble is I feel like I'm built, making an engraven Im image. And that holds me back. But then I was talking to Donna Evans. She called and left a message on my phone. Uh, if she didn't hear from me, doesn't hear from me for a while, she gets to worrying about whether I'm still alive. <laughs> when you got friends and you're 74 years old and people don't hear from you for a while and you don't get out much, uh, that's what happens. They start thinking maybe you died. And uh, I said, no, I'm fine. I told her she knew about my idea of doing this, and uh, I told her my the roadblock, my mental roadblock I had about doing it. And she says, well, it was God that gave you this ability. Why shouldn't you glorify his only begotten son? So it kind of said, okay. But now the challenge is to not make it like every other religious sculpture ever done, but to make it mine and to make it uh, my own vision. All right, now let's go on down to the studio. It's a challenge and uh, it's, it's stepping outside my comfort zone quite a bit. But uh, Let's see what happens. All right, I'll pick this up in the studio. Uh, now this is an old 24-inch uh, uh, true form that I have had for several years now, and I haven't done anything with it because they weren't available. But now they are, and you can buy them through uh, Sculpture Depot uh, .net in uh, Loveland, Colorado. They, are, they got the permission and the license to reproduce these armatures. And so, because of that, I figure, what the heck. Um, I've got to get a replacement arm. Uh, i got to call uh, them today and see how much that'll cost and get one shipped out to me. Uh, but I found this stick out there. I mean, I'm not... Yeah, it would have been about the length of his height. And I just got to figure out how I'm going to uh, strip this of the uh, skin on the uh, stick and uh, get rid of these uh, sharp things that are on it. But it, uh, I, what I'm thinking of doing is having it over his shoulders like this and he's got his hands resting on the, uh, the staff as he's got it over his shoulders. And, it, it sort of uh, gives you the image of the crucifix without being a crucifix. Anyway, I'm going to go upstairs, uh, get a hold of uh, Sculpture Depot, and uh, see what I can do about getting another arm. It may come next week. Um, I don't know if I'll start this until I get the arm. I don't know. Uh, I'm also missing the wire for the uh, bottom of the leg, only that because I had it attached to this uh, screw and I can't get it off the screw and it's one of these damn screws that is a uh, well it's, it's one I don't use anymore but I found that I can use uh, my copper tubing uh, it, it's the same uh, gauge as the uh, the wire the aluminum wire in this uh, arm or this leg the, now the, the thing about 
two form armature you got to be careful of is that that wire does not go all the way down into the the uh, form of the arm it only goes up to about right there and about right there uh, that's so you can take uh, the arm off like I'm doing right now and you can work on the arm separately but anyway it, it gives you a little bit of a problem when you gotta uh, shape your position your arms and think legs and stuff like that you you can't do it by holding on to the center of the uh, form because if you do you'll break it now I've got to arrange the uh, sculpture to uh, in in a position I want to put the sculpture in and you can see if I can adjust the uh, how far into the board I want this and all that stuff and then you got a couple of nuts here that allow me to uh, tighten it up on this and then this uh, tightens up the angle of the uh, armature I can change the angle if I want to and all that stuff but uh, I've got to work all that out and I'll come back down later on this afternoon maybe and start working on the, uh, I've got another 24 inch I'm going to see if I can't get the arm off that if I've got one and uh, just ask for a replacement for the other one alright I'll be back um, I'm going to go ahead and publish this video so you know what I'm doing and what I'm thinking even if I don't start it today uh, you'll know what I'm getting ready to do I just think it's a different pose than the normal pose and he's not going to be beatifying or whatever else with his hands and he's just going to be a normal person because that's the way he appeared to the people in Jerusalem he didn't appear to them as God he appeared to them as one of them uh, he tried to set an example through his life how we should live. So we'll get started on this uh, probably this today or tomorrow or even Monday or Tuesday. I, I've got stuff I've got to do. I've got a bronze kit getting ready to come out and I don't know what day I'm going to have to go to the foundry for that. And i got to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Hmm. Let me think. I've got this uh, rasp that I got from Sculpture Depot, and uh, let's see if I can do something with this. Yeah, that works pretty good. I don't know if I want to do it in the studio here, but because it's going to give a lot of shavings, maybe I'll go outside and sit and do this upstairs in my. Uh, on my porch. So anyway, those are things I'm thinking about doing and uh, it's just an idea that came to my head and we're coming into that season where we're thinking about uh, things of you know the birth of Christ and then uh, after that the death of Christ. All right good night everybody I'll see you uh, later. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.